everyone, it's me ex Canadensis, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my Godzilla collection in honor of the Godzilla vs. Kong trailer dropping today. And also, I am... I don't just dress like this, although I would love to. Um, this is my legendary Mothra costume from the 2019 Godzilla King of the Monsters movie. Um, I'm just not wearing the wings because they... it's like a seven foot wingspan and logistically it wouldn't make sense to be like spinning around with them on, you know, but I'll insert a picture here. Of what they look like. <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot of these are from my childhood. The Bondi ones, we would get them at KB Toys when I was little. Um, the rest I've acquired more recently. I'll tell you where I got all of them when we get to them. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna like start picking stuff. So for starters, this is really cool. I actually got this at a convention more recently, but it's this felt poster. It came with like crayons and stuff, or not crayons, those markers, you're supposed to color it, but um, the colors that it came with were like yellow, green, red, and blue. I don't know what they expected you to do with those colors here. Um, but I love this in black and white. I think it's really dope. And it has some really like interesting monsters on it. Like it even has Titanosaur on it. I'm pretty sure this is Manda right here. Um, it's really cool. Tarotinosaurus right here. Cool poster. I like it a lot. It's just not up right now because we moved and I don't think that the Godzillas are going to stay here. Um, next are the ones that are just right next to me because they weren't on the shelf for whatever reason. So this is NECA Godzilla. This was my first NECA figure and I really like this one. I believe this one was intended to be... Um, NECA... It's such a shame they're not making Godzilla anymore because, oh my god, they did such a good job. And at the price point, these were like 25 bucks retail. And they have all this articulation. I think they rival SH Monster Arts, especially with the prices. These are unbeatable. They're so cool. And really well painted and molded and masterpiece. Love this one. One of my favorite figures in my entire collection in general. Next up, another favorite. I love this one. I've had this one since I was a kid. This is Final Wars Gigan. I believe they actually just re-released Final Wars Gigan. This is the Bondi one, just the Toy Store release from when I was a kid, not like Xbox or anything. This figure is so cool. <laughs> Look at him. The paint quality on these is also like unmatched. Like For a play line, this is ridiculous. That's why I just love the Bondi figures, because they're playline, but they still have this really wonderful quality to them, and I think it's really cool. Um, next up, I actually found this one at a thrift store. It's It was specifically a toy resale thrift store, but like, what are the odds? <laughs> um, I found a lot of cool stuff at that thrift store, actually. Um, he is missing one toe. It's okay, though. I, I don't notice or care. I don't really look at their toes very much. Not my thing. Um... But this is a gorgeous figure. Um, I definitely prefer the other Bondi figures in most circumstances. I'll, I'll get to the X Plus that I love. Um, because these ones aren't as articulated and I just, I like, I mean, the, he can move his tail a little bit, but I really like to like play with them and pose them and take pictures and stuff. So it doesn't really do much for me when they're statues, but I do still really love statues and I have other figures of this iteration of Godzilla, so it's totally fine. Moving on along. This is my only Playmates figure so far. I couldn't resist because it is Destroya. I don't have a Destroya um, Bondi figure. The I saw a Bondi, I've seen Bondi Destroya figures before in person and they were always like 80, 90 bucks. I can justify quite a bit for one figure but not that much for a Playline vinyl Bondi, not like a, like a, um, Marmot. Sorry, I was trying to remember the name and I was just, I was like, obviously for like a Marmot or a higher end um, art figure that would be different, but for just like a Playline um, vinyl figure I couldn't justify like $90. Um, so I caved and bought this one just because I saw him at the store and thought like, oh, I need to destroy him. And I also wanted to give Playmates a try. I did a review on this figure, basically comparing it to Bondi and explaining all my full thoughts on it. I didn't upload it though, because I don't know. Um, so if you'd like to see that, let me know. But this is a really cool figure. Um, I think the mold is really well done. I'm pretty sure it's lifted from Bondi, though. I also just recently learned that Bondi re-released their Destroyer, so I'm, I'm just going to buy that one. But this was like 10 bucks, I think. Um, the paint quality leaves something to be desired. It's made out of this obnoxious ABS material that I don't like. Um, 
and really unsightly joints like this, but still fine. He'll look fine on the shelf. Um, but as soon as I get the Bondi one, he's not going to be too good. And then these are my two Bondi ones that I actually do have. I have this mini one. This was from some sort of like multi-pack from when I was a kid that you could get at Toys R Us. Really cool one. Really well painted and impressive. I just think it's hilarious to compare this one to this one because this is on like a miniature scale and completely blows this one out of the water. <laughs> it is what it is. And then I really don't like this one. I don't like that they always do these weird red Destroya, like this really bright red. Like I understand picking like a signature color or whatever, but this is just kind of, it doesn't even look like Destroya, it looks like a Pokemon, but still cute. This is just my least favorite from the, these are from a multi-pack of, I think they were called Super Deformed Chibis. Um, and I'm actually, now that we mentioned that, I have this art book that I got at a convention when I met Akira Takarada and Akira Takarada and Shinji Nishikawa. Sorry, I like brain farted there. Um, <laughs> I met them on May 23rd, 2015, apparently. Um, something happened though. I signature got kind of smudged, but I'm pretty sure my boy here was the one who did the um, super deformed chibis because I looked into it further. Uh, I can't recall where I got. Yeah, so he has a lot of this super deformed chibi art, so I think he actually did the designs for those figures, so it's kind of cool. Funny coincidence. And I asked him, I'm an idiot. I wasn't thinking, I was just like, when I met him, um, if you bought a signature and bought his art book, he would do a sketch for you, like a little mini sketch. This is the designer of Biolante. And for some reason, I was like, can you draw a Mothra for me? And it ended up being the exact design. Well, like, it ended up being the super deformed chibi. So I think he designed them, which is cool. Probably should look further into that. But the um, that was Shinji Nishikawa. I also met um, Akira Takarada on the same day, and he signed my book as well, just because I was there. That was a really cool experience. Um, next, I have this one, who I believe came in the same set as this Destroya. Don't quote me on that. I know it's from the same line. Um, this little Mothra. I never really played with this one because I liked the bigger figures better and um, I prefer Rainbow Mothra to this design, but still really, really cute. And it came with the baby and stuff. So fun. Um, next, I really like this one. This is one of my newer acquisitions. Well, new as in last time I could leave the house. Um, but this is the Kamada Kun theater exclusive figure. I actually got this at at um, Anime Matsuri in 2019, when I debuted this costume, I went to the Godzilla store pop-up that they did, and they had this guy, and I could not leave him behind, because I really, really love um, Kamada Kun, one of my favorite kaiju designs in general. I think he's so cool. Um, still have the tag on him and everything. I don't really remove the tags from my newer ones. Um, but yeah, I just, I love this figure. Super cool. Um, I do have another theater exclusive figure, so he doesn't just stand out completely. Although I do think his color is like a little bit more ridiculous than the others. Um, moving right along. So this is... <laughs> These are like bootleg, I think, but I got them on eBay when I was like 14 because I thought they were cute and they were cheap. They're like little finger puppets, but I'm pretty sure they're knockoff, but that's fine. Um, next, this is kind of a neat little figure. These, I bought a giant box of like mystery stuff from Japan. Um, like I used to just go on Yahoo auctions and buy random lots of stuff, but shipping became too much with coronavirus. Um, so I got this little guy. I don't really know anything about how these were released or anything, but they came in these tiny little blue like mint tins. I actually have Mechagodzilla as well, but I'm not seeing the box. Ah, here it is. They came in these. And I haven't put Mechagodzilla together yet because his arms fall off. I have several of Godzilla and Mechagodzilla. I don't really know. They're really cool. And I also have some Ultraman ones, but I don't really know much about Ultraman. So those aren't really my collection or anything. Um, but these are cool. So I have two of them. Really ridiculously nice paint quality and mold quality and everything as usual. Um, from stuff coming out of Japan. Here we have... Um, these were from a set back in... Uh, 2018 or 2019, I feel like this released. It, it actually showed up at big box stores, too. Um, they're just these, like, mini figures. I overpaid for these at a convention because I didn't know that they were, like, a U.S. release thing. I thought they were from Japan. And I thought it was interesting that Hidora was included. Hidora is one of my favorite kaiju in general, especially from Godzilla. 
Um, so had to get a set that came with him. And there's another bigger reason that I bought the whole set. This is my only actual Kamada Kun figure of him painted, but oh, stunning. My little friend. Um, so I really bought the set to get this one because if you bought the set, it was cheaper and I wanted this one and Hidora. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is also from that set. This is the, I don't really care for these movies at all, so. But came with the set, so whatever. But the little anime Godzilla here. Um, next, we've got a Mecha from the same set. And uh, there's gotta be another one from the set, huh? Yeah. We have Shin here, I believe. Yeah, this is Shin Godzilla. Um, this was another good reason to get the set. This is actually my only Shin Godzilla. I never got the NECA one just because it was sitting in stores for so long. It was really a peg warmer, so I was just kind of, I can get them whenever. And then NECA kind of stopped producing Godzilla and suddenly they're all gone. <sighs> I waited too long, but it's okay. I'll like the Monster Arts one or something if I have to, but I really want it. Um, anyways, next, these are from like a blind figure thing that came out for 2014 Godzilla. Um, I have quite a few of them. We actually, I actually have the sh the little box they came in, that the little Gashapons came in. Um, and I think the, oh, I have the Muto too, but I'm pretty sure he's downstairs. I think I saw him when I was cleaning, so we might not discover the Muto, but I swear I have him. Uh, I think this is a knockoff figure, maybe. Oop. Oop. Um, I can't decide if this is a knockoff. Oh, no, 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 no. Th sorry, I was like... I don't remember this figure at all. This is also from this set, just a Burning Godzilla. I don't really care for Burning Godzilla, especially in figure form. I just, eh. Godzilla's already cool. He doesn't need to be on fire. <laughs> well, it was the bootleg. I think they're bootleg anyway. I still have the packaging for those two. The, um, the finger puppet, that one was Batra. This is the Atomic Breath from the uh, NECA figure. Um, super deformed mecha. Bootleg Anguirus. I was like 14 and at a convention and I was like, that's a Godzilla thing, so I bought it. I have a whole set of the bootlegs actually, so you'll see them. My cat is playing in a bag, sorry. Um, King Ghidorah, super deformed, or not super deformed, oh my god. This is the um, bootleg finger puppet. Super deformed King Ghidorah here. Some more. Bootleg finger puppet Mecha. Bootleg finger puppet Rodan. I actually really like this mold. I'm pretty sure the molds are legit. Um, Gigan. This is another one from the 2014 blind figures. This one's Burning Godzilla. Again, meh. Um, this is the Bondi Gigan from that same set as the Destroya, or at least from the same line. I also have this Mogera from that same line. Okay, so the last time I saw this arm was right after my parents got divorced. My dad had his own little room in the house for a while before he moved out. <laughs> and in his desk drawer was this Mogera's arm. So that is the last time that I saw it. Someday we will find his arm again. I know it wasn't thrown away. It's gotta be around somewhere, we're gonna find it. <laughs> so, it's just like this for now. I would love to get a bigger figure of Mogera for sure. Um, the uh, little knockoff baby Mothra, M Mothra larva. This is the, I believe these were by Trendmasters. This was actually my dad's from when he was a kid, which I find to be really cool. Um, Space Godzilla guy. I love Space Godzilla. That's a costume I really want to do, um, but I'm really intimidated by the spikes. But, oh, it'd be so cool. I just, I love doing costumes with wings, so um, any costume without wings takes some convincing. I had to buy this just because it's Legendary Mothra, and I really loved um, that. I loved that movie, and I loved the design, and this one's really interesting because it's all red. Um, so this is the Jack Specific figure. I love Jack Specific as a toy company, and I know they can do better than this. This is Playline, it's fine, it's good enough, it, it does its job, but like, you know, <laughs> um, 
Here is a really cool Mothra. I bought this one because it came with the egg. The egg is not here at this time. I don't know where it is, but I bought, I paid quite a bit actually. It seems like I paid $12 for this little figure. It's like from some kind of game and you could roll it on the table and it came with the Mothra egg and that's why I bought it because I wanted the egg because the egg is actually a really good size for the minifigures. I just thought it was neat. Um, this is also a really nice figure too, but I wouldn't have bought it. I like this one because he, she looks grimy. Like, and the, the metallic paint on the eyes is really cool. I don't know anything about that figure. I just, convention. Um, my Houston peeps, there's a Anime Matsuri and Comic Blues, I feel like there's this booth that would always come that always had cool Godzilla stuff. So you'll see several of my Godzilla things that I got at that booth. This one I got kind of scammed. So this is King Caesar. I didn't know there was re-release. I just thought, wow, I've never seen that Bondi figure before. He must be rare. Um, and I paid like 30 bucks. If you know anything about Godzilla figures, laugh at me. Maybe he's worth something now, actually. I haven't checked in a while. My cat was actively chewing on my feather skirt. <laughs> anyway, um... I don't even like King Caesar. I don't care for him. I didn't think he was that interesting in the movies. I don't really like his design that much. He's fine. So I have a figure of King Caesar that I overpaid for. That's a convention experience, so it's whatever. Um, Manda minifigure. Had him since I was a kid from the little Bondi playset that I had. Um, this finger puppet Mothra. Bondi guy again. This one's really cool. My brother always like plays this one when we were little. Or obviously the Final Wars one, but he really liked traditional guy again. We had the Destroy All Monsters Melee, or um, we had both the PS2 one and the GameCube one of that game. Um, no, there was a sequel for the PS2 that we had, right? Sorry. Um, there's the Save the Earth and Destroy All Monsters Melee. We had both of those. Um, and my brother always played his guy game. And then, anyway, those games bang. They're so fun. Anyway, this is my Hedora figure. This is one of my prized possessions. I don't really know if it's like worth anything. I paid quite a bit. Um, I got a deal because I bought two figures. I'll get to the other one. Um, but this one originally was priced at 30. Oh, never mind. He was pretty cheap. The other one's the one I paid quite a bit for. Um, I love this figure. It's a Japanese one. It has a 2006 tag on it. I think it was... I can't remember what the release was. I knew a little bit more about him at the time. But I really wanted a Hidora figure. Again, one of my favorite Godzilla movies. Shin Godzilla is my favorite, but this is like probably my second or third favorite. I love this movie. Um, so this figure was really important to me to get and I really love him and he's definitely like a jewel in my collection. I don't know if he's worth anything, but you know, like I don't really collect based on like, ooh, this is the rare one. This is the expensive one. Like, ooh, you're gonna be envious. It's just like, I really like Hidora. That is a banger figure, really well painted, really well molded, awesome figure. And it's from Japan. Like this is the Japanese release. So makes me happy. <laughs> Anyways. Here is my NECA Legendary Mothra. I was actually pretty disappointed with this figure. Um, I think just the nature of Mothra's design makes it difficult. I would like to get the Monster Arts version of this figure to, or this design to compare, because ugh, this figure really doesn't cut it for me. The main reason I bought this figure though was because when I was painting my costume, um, I painted it with only the trailer where Mothra's all blue. You can't really see Mothra at all. And that one part where she's like swooping down. So I didn't know the design that was supposed to be on the wings. I had no way of guessing what it would be. So when this figure came out, I immediately ran out and got it so that I could trace the wing um, in my little, in Photoshop so that I could have an understanding of what the design was. So this is directly what my costume is based off of. This figure is fine. Like it's a good figure. It's just, I, I feel bad touching her because it feels like she's just made of dust. She'll just disintegrate in my hands, but she's beautiful. This would actually be like a... <laughs> um, I think just the scale, because they kept her to scale. I think it's the scale that caused the problem. Because in the... To give NECA credit, the Bondi figure, I'll insert a picture here, is so bad. <laughs> so bad. I don't know what they were thinking. Um, and this is the stand for that Mothra. I really like this stand. It has the egg and everything, or the cocoon. Looks like an alien egg is what that looks like. All right, next up, this is the NECA 2014 Godzilla. I actually didn't remember that I had this, to be honest with you, so. Nice, good thing I have this. 
Um, oh, I probably bought this because of the bathroom. So this might actually be the 2019 figure. That would make more sense. Um, cool one. I remember him now that I'm holding him in my hands. I think his weird wrist articulation is goofy. Um, this is a good, this is fine. For NECA, this is bad, but for Godzilla toys in general, this is great. Um, just the articulation of these figures is, like, astounding to me that they managed to pull it off and still keep all of the joints looking very good. Obviously, this one's a little rough, but it's just the nature of how that joint has to be. I think this figure is great. Just not the best for NECA, you know. You've put yourself at an impossibly high standard. Super deformed Mothra. It's kind of like the one that Shinji drew for me. Obviously a different pose. Um, this is the like scorpion form of Destroya. I love this figure. I'm really glad that I have this one because I don't really feel like they've made a lot of toys of this one. I could be wrong, um, especially in like the art, art figure department that I haven't even like opened up the door to yet. Um, but I've had this one since I was a kid and always thought that one was really cool. Um, this is one of my favorite figures as well, a very recent acquisition, well, very recent being two years ago. Godzilla toys don't enter my life very often, but when they do, I love them. This I got at the same time as the other X-Plus figure that I got at that thrift store. This is one of my favorite figures of all time. This one's X-Plus again. It's Millennium Godzilla. I love the way they did the purple on the spikes. Like, when you put them in the light, you can really see them. Y'all can't see them at all. But, like, usually you can't see the purple here. But when you put like a bright light on it, they really pop and they're like lightly, yeah, you can see it. They're like lightly transparent. They're just beautiful. Um, and then he's also slightly um, see-through as well, just very subtly and full of glitter. This is a really cool figure. And Millennium Godzilla is my favorite Godzilla design of all of them. Except if Kamada-kun counts, that's my favorite, but this is like... I love Millennium Godzilla. It's so cool. Space Godzilla rocks too, but I think Millennium beats it for me. Um, speaking of Space Godzilla, where's my Space Godzilla figure? Another figure fell. We'll have to have another intermission. See, that's weird. I have a really dope Space Godzilla, but he's not here. We'll find him. Alright, this is my childhood King Ghidorah figure. This figure, I think, is molded very well. The articulation's nice, but oh, it sucks. It's constantly losing his tails and... It's just stressful to interact with this figure. I have the tails, I just keep them separate so that I don't lose them. Um, kind of like Mogera's arm though, right? I showed the tails two years ago when I did my last Godzilla collection video, so if you don't believe me, there they are. Um, that figure, like, it's, it's well done, it's just like nothing special. Burning Godzilla from the Bondi mini pack. Meh. From the 2000s Bondi mini pack. Mechagodzilla I've had since I was a kid. This one's similar to the King Ghidorah for me. Just like absolutely nothing special going on. The paint isn't interesting. Mold is great. I like the feeling of this figure too. Like the whatever they did. Like the paint or the sealer or whatever makes him feel like this is really cool. And he has a really cool, um, shouldn't really be gendering this robot. But he has a really cool like sheen to him. It's subtle. Like I don't like when... When companies try to make something look metallic and they just like blast it with gloss, I think it looks really stupid. But like this is really delicate and I like it. It's, it's like subtle and really looks like metal. All right. Another one gone. Anguirus, my, one of my favorite kaiju. I love Anguirus. This was my favorite when I was a kid. Anguirus was my favorite kaiju when I was a kid besides from Mothra. I was a female. I don't know what you expect from me. But I love Anguirus. Anguirus was so fun to play as in the GameCube game, and that's what won me over. Anguirus also has great movies. Um, great movie appearances, I guess. But, like, this figure for Anguirus, every other figure from Bondi looks slightly like they've been outside in their lives. This Anguirus looks like a newborn baby, like he's never seen the light of day, the sun has never touched his skin, he's never seen a, a speck of dust. Speaking of dust, have you been seeing all the dust snowflakes flying around? Isn't that fun? Um, isn't he just like, he's so clean, he shouldn't be this clean. Um, so I hope I can get an Anguirus that's a little bit less clean looking. I still love that figure, but it's just kind of weird that it seems like they just molded those pieces in that color and they were like, we're done. Um, next is the 2014 figure from those Gashapons. 
Again, I do have the Mudos. They're just not right here right now. You have to trust me, okay? These are Ultraman. They're not mine. I bought these for my fiance's birthday a long time ago. The 1954 Bondi Godzilla that I've had since I was a kid. Um, the reason I prefer this one over the X Plus one, despite the paint quality um, not being as good on this one, is just he can move. I don't know. The mold and the paint is definitely better on the X Plus, but this one can move, and that just adds something for me. Even if it's crappy, like Barbie level articulation, I still love it. Um, all right, we've got super deformed Godzilla. I like this one's eyes, super adorable. Looks like a little baby crocodile. Bachelor larva, bootleg figure. This is one of my favorite Godzilla figures. I like I got this one fairly recently. I think the last convention that I was able to go to for before Corona hit, um, I got this one and I was really happy to get this one. I believe this is a recent release, yeah, 2018, but I've been wanting a Biolante so bad. Biolante is so cool. Funny thing about this one is I showed him to my fiance and, my, and he was like, oh, like um, Ultimate Chaos or something from Sonic? And I was like, <laughs> anyway, the coolest design like ever. So, so dope. And the, the concept was cool. The movie rocked. Yes, I love this figure. I paid quite a bit. I think I paid like 60 bucks for this figure. Um, I don't remember. Worth it. I love him. I love his stupid little mouth and I wish I had one where he wasn't just like flat on the bottom like it'd be kind of cool to have like the bottom part but really cool figure it's a Bondi figure not gonna be too much Bondi playline figure Rodan my dad really liked or er, I've asked my dad and he says that King Ghidorah is his favorite but when we were little it was Rodan so I don't know I don't really care for Rodan that much to be honest with you um, historically very cool, from the original lineup of Monsters very cool, but with the light up now, Rodan does nothing for me. Um, forgot to get the Rodan figure from the 2019 movie and I regret that, though. I liked that design. This is my Rainbow Mother from when I was a kid. I love this one. Um, <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, I kind of ripped the wing a little bit because I used to flap them. Because they are made to lightly flap, but I would like, whoo, but... I remember seeing the tear, but I never can find it anymore, so she's doing great. The paint quality on this figure is so nice. Look at that. And she can move her little feet, which I always liked, and the head I think even tilts, yeah. This is a really difficult figure to articulate, and they did it. And the existence of this figure makes me even more infuriated that the 2019 Mothra figure by Bondi looks so egregiously bad. <laughs> And last but certainly not least, my most expensive and one of my favorites. This is my theater exclusive Japanese Mothra figure. So the theater exclusive figures are always this like one color that's see-through and sparkly. But this one specifically I really like because you know when, when Mothra like dies and turns into all the butterflies and like the glitter? That's what this figure is to me. So, mm, so cool. Um, retailed for $20 apparently, $21. 2100 yen in 2002. I got this one at the same booth as that Hedora at the same time. So they gave me a discount. I just can't remember what it was, but this was expensive. I just, I saw her and I was like, I have to have that figure. I love her. She's really hard to display though. Cause like she can't stand on her own. So I, I try to like string her up, but I'm scared she's gonna like fall. And this big tag gets in the way. And then there's this like safety tag in Japanese. Um, we're working on it with, with this figure, but I really love this figure. One of my like all time favorites. I would love to do a costume based on this one, but I've done several costumes just based on toys and it's not as fun when no one else knows what you're doing. So you're just running around being like, I'm me. Anyway, I'm going to pick up all the toys that fell. I'll be back in a second. I've returned and I found Space Godzilla. That's the one that fell earlier that we couldn't find. Um, so here is the miniature Bondi Godzilla, the Sky Gun, super deformed chibi. And then this Space Godzilla figure, really like this figure as well. This one's actually pretty well articulated, especially, look at that tail. <laughs> um, didn't, um, did Playmates touch Space Godzilla yet? I, I need to see that. That sounds like it'd be really funny. <laughs> 
but this is the one that I got as a kid from KB Toys, so like the early 2000s Bandai playline. But it does not look like a playline. So good. And with that, we close. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know um, what you think of my Godzilla collection, I guess. I don't really know what to ask. Uh, let me know what your favorite kaiju is, as well as what your favorite Godzilla-specific movie is. Um, and I want to say, my dad is giving up toy collecting, so he is giving me his entire Godzilla collection. He has quite a few, uh, so I will film a collection update and a haul when I get those, so stay tuned for that. Um, and please comment if you're okay, like if you're here and you're like, I want to see more Godzilla stuff because I would be very happy to do uh, more with them. I never really film hauls when I get them either, um, and I would like to do that. Um, it's just I usually do girl toys, dolls and stuff, which of course that's like my first, I love dolls and I love collecting dolls and stuff like that, but um, I feel like my audience doesn't want to see Godzilla. Um, I also collect early animation like Gumby and I collect uh, Alien vs. Predator. Not so much on the Predators though. <laughs> I collect Xenomorphs, but I don't really have a lot of those. I have a, I have some really nice ones though. Um, and some video game stuff. Uh, Nintendo, I mean. Um, but let me know. Like, let me know if you're here and you're here for it. I would really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time. Bye!